uh, Baba Eric, E Smooth. A lot of people. I, I'm Eric by a lot of uh, by a lot of people. Um, today we have a guest. I am Queen Zenobia, and I want to also give a shout out to our <laughs> other triple co-host. Brother Medina, yeah, yeah. he well, not here today, but we that. still showing some love, y'all. Y'all see the number, y'all know the number. Give us a call, 312-738-1060. Eric, how they reach us, man? Where we at? Right now, we are at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery on 35th and Racine. That is 1200 West 35th Street. You can reach us by email at enterprisegallery at gmail.com. We also are live on the web at www.inglewoodenterprisegallery.com. So, oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. It's, it's, what we here to talk about? What's going on? <laughs> it's been a rough one. Today we got guests. Today I want to introduce uh, a good, good brother, a good, good uh, friend of mine uh, by the name of Stephen Gazaway. And uh, I invited Stephen today because he, uh, well, let me let Stephen introduce his, his uh, uh, partner. Appreciate it, Eric. Um, so my partner in crime right here is Miss Brooke Bennett. She is my executive director of Peace of the Peace Project. Yes, and that's the name of your not for profit, right? Partner in fighting crime. Oh, hey, I was like gonna that. say partner in love. In love. Show some love. Show. Yes, yeah. my, my partner. My partner in peace. Ladies. In peace. Hey, my partner in peace. Like my partner in peace. Um, yes. Our organization is Peace of the Peace Project, P-I-E-C-E of the P-E-A-C-E Project. Yeah. So, um, it's a, a lot of y'all know this show is about showing some love. It's about reaching out to the community. And uh, what I learned about this uh, organization is that they're into, you all are into um, training, like, um, like what? What type so, of training are you? Um, Stephen, I'm so lost. I need a brief <laughs> overview of yeah. all peace, peace. Okay, okay. I'm a little confused. Clarify the name. What's for me? Give me an overview first. All right. The the origin of peace of the peace project is centered around that everyone has their peace, their P I E C E of the peace of what we're all trying to see in this world. Um, our, our focus right now is providing housing. And our initial focus is providing housing for homeless veterans and battered women. Uh, soon to expand into people getting released from uh, prison, which is a great need for this state of Illinois. Uh, another strong point of our mission is skill trade training. And so what we're doing is we're working with organizations and contractors to provide skill trade training through Department of Labor approved programming uh, for skill trades from electrical to plumbing, to HVAC, masonry, roofing, uh, whatever individuals want to get involved in, uh, we are providing training for those entities. Um, Along with the training, we have OJT training because we've partnered up with multiple contractors who are already established in the business that can take our apprentices on site to give them on-job training. And we're working to get them positioned to where they can be capable to uh, get a union job. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's really a lot. Make, really make a good living. I, I wanted to, not to cut you off, man, but I wanted to ask you, like, what, what, made you want to get in the, like, where did you, how did you know there was a need for that? Like, what made you really get into this type of work? So, I've been mentoring youth for the, over a decade now. Mm -hmm. um, and what I've noticed through the contracting industry and construction industry is all across America, the great need is skilled workers. Yeah, yeah. If you go to any contractor, their biggest problem is finding skilled labor uh, yeah. that can fulfill the needs uh, of these specific trades. And so that, that is something that is sorely needed. 
And so, is there is there what are like some of the requirements? How, if a person is interested in doing uh, working with you, I mean, is there a certain age group? Uh, what what's the demographic of uh, you know students and workers y'all looking for? So we're 18 years and up. Um, and if you're interested in, in pursuing a career, not everyone wants to go to college, right? Right. That's yeah. the new thing. Let's don't go to college. Let's don't go to college. <laughs> you know? I don't think it's that new, but yeah. It's just been popularized. Y'all gotta show some love for the right. youth, okay? Yeah, you yeah. Know. That's what I'm. I'm soon gonna get into the youth because you know we like to talk about the youth. Mm-hmm. But yeah, go ahead. What? what? So I want to get back to your last question though. How do we know that there's a need? Yeah, right. yeah. How do we know? Uh, yeah. I mean, look around. <laughs> there's yeah. homeless people everywhere. Obviously, there's, there's just displaced people that, that need at least temporary housing. So that's yeah. what we're definitely trying to do. Well, a job, if I had the training, I would have had the job. But I appreciate you providing that training because it's like this, you're the middle person. Yeah. And, uh, then, you know, to help them get the employment because the employer just wants the person who has the job. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah, the you, training is a key piece, and, and that's really what's not out there. You know, back in the day, we had Washburn training. We had CVS uh, school that, that did these skill trade um, <clears throat> classes and, mm-hmm. and programming, but, you know, they're dwindling. Yeah. KDC yeah. College back in the day used to do these things. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're trying to open that door to give young people and adults the, the opportunity and the option to kind of change their life and, and create a career for themselves and their families. Yeah, you know, like on this show before, you know, we was talking, to, oh, we always talking about the youth. And, uh, you know, I, I think we've mentioned before that um, in high schools, I know you're talking about 18 and up, but I think a lot of times in high schools, they they have, they don't have some of the same classes we took when we was younger, like wood shop and uh, auto shop and all drivers that type of stuff. Ed, drivers, Ed, you know. So I, I think that it's a need, you know, not only for the 18 and up, but it's a need for that just in general, you know, for a lot of our youth too, because um, they don't have no skills. You know, y'all they, listening you, to the show, y'all listening to the topic. Yeah. Y'all give us a call, 312-738-1060. Yeah. Chime on in, questions, comments. We might not even have nobody answering phones right now. We short <laughs> one person today. No, we not. We know we not. We got somebody. Peace. Okay, okay yeah, well, peace, Bye. Brother Medina. He out there missing in action today, but... Uh, uh, I, also, let me go. Let me run us one more time. We are the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. We're on 35th and Racine. You know, we have um, had a few events over there, um, and, and some of them we promote here. Like, what is it? Every third Friday. We yeah, have, third um, Friday. Third we up. have uh, a crystal, like a crystal party and paint. Absolutely. It's like crystal and paint. We got a one million paint. crystal project. Yeah. We want to give the community one million charged crystals to help change the community and bring Ooh. about that change oh, that we want to bring with that yeah. frequency and all. Yeah. I was just saying that it was a couple other stuff on that. Okay. okay. Uh, you know. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Y'all gotta let me know. I work, yeah, I yeah. Got, we'll I definitely. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We always yeah. rocking last the crystals. Last night was the new moon. So I had a okay. charge yeah. last night the new moon. Oh, yes. I was all on that last night. I can't tell y'all all my little things I got going on, but I was on the new moon last night. Um, even though you can't really technically see the moon that night, but uh, you can feel its energy, though. But it's um, a specific time. Y'all look it up. Y'all look what time is it? In my yeah, time? I think it, it started at 9.52. Yeah. Like yeah, eight, eight, last night? Yeah. Because yeah. I thought it was like during the day to the... Um, no, it's I don't a know. specific time. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, the energy, but I was out the there, though. lasts for some days. So yes. Okay. <laughs> I was out there under the new moon last night. Um, so how but, long is peace for peace and peace and people? Don't worry, I'm not going to yeah. mess it up. <laughs> how long y'all been an organization? Yeah. So Peace of the Peace has been established for about a year and a half. Uh, because our mission is so broad and grand, mm-hmm. you know, we're just not start, We're just now starting to get some traction mm-hmm. uh, as far as people really coming on board. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, it, we got to play the political game. Yeah, okay. yeah. And yeah, you know, yeah. Because we're talking about housing of individuals that people may not want this in the area. For the long time. It's been in my mind for about ten years. It's, it's been in my mind for about <laughs> yeah. ten years. He brought me in. He brought me in about six months ago. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and Brooks has... 
helped out a lot, huh? The website's almost done. We got our logo, which is amazing. That's yeah, so some reason you don't have. I'm sorry. Not, you know, <laughs> yeah. sorry, sorry, but right? but you know, like just tell tell them, right, tell the email. people like where would yeah. they pop? You know, what's the website? They, you know, what is like the um, the platforms that y'all are reaching people on? Is it like Instagram, Facebook, and all that stuff? But we're not like. Okay, yeah, y'all still we want to have everything programming, or, you know, in place, yeah. Yeah. Uh, or about to be in place yeah. uh, before we start. Yeah, we, we, have, um, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, mm -hmm. we have a community center that we're developing right now that's going to open up in the Roseland area. Mm -hmm. uh, we have properties that we're working on construction on. Should be done by my daughter's Yeah, by, by August we'll be housing our first homeless veterans. Well, not our first. Mm -hmm. Our first 18. Right. Oh, so, so look, next fall, y'all yeah, can come back. We'll take a three month break, we'll be back next fall. So I want to yeah, yeah, so There will be yeah. progress. By <laughs> then, by then we will have housed almost 50 homeless veterans. Yeah. And so, trained about 100 youth in but, skilled trades. Not to cut you off, but I wanted to ask you, um, how does what is how what is your recruiting process like? How do you pick these veterans, and or do they come to you, or are you going out like uh, really searching and finding people to hand pick that to work with, or how you know how does that work? So we have partnerships with already established organizations that screen and. They'll they'll deliver these veterans to, to us. You. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to go no look. Shortage. At it. <laughs> right. I'm sure. No this, so. mm -hmm. um, what I've been told is that we can't provide enough housing quick enough mm -hmm. to facilitate all of the homeless veterans yeah, that they have. Can't meet the demand. Right. We cannot meet the demand. So what we what we know is that we just have to build it, mm -hmm. and they will come. Yeah. Yeah. That's usually how it works. Mm -hmm. So that I mean that's good. So what um uh you, you said uh like y'all have absolute I, I think you mentioned something about like um uh, going through some of the red tape like with the city and all this other stuff. Like tell the people out there that wanna have non for profits and they looking to spread the love and do things, like what are some of the obstacles that um, that you face or that you know you would have to face as a non for profit trying to do something legit in the community? The egos of politics. It's mm. mm. the biggest uh, obstacle. But we need I politics as a culture. Of course. We need politics as a culture. Um, now, nah, I won't say nothing's gonna get me in trouble. That's your personal opinion. Yeah, yeah, don't smile. My personal hey. opinion, dude. Well, you was expressed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Uh, well, yeah, well, what is what? I mean, give me just a brief, like, what Genesis. are some? Yeah, yeah. What are some of the things that that you're gonna face, like other the, than the crooked politicians? What are some of the? Uh, I'm not calling them crooked. If certain okay, okay. okay. I did. If certain politicians have been along with somebody, mm. and we're trying to go for them for a grant or something, mm -hmm. they they might come back and say, oh well, your your property isn't there for. Yeah. We don't want to deal with you unless you put it over there. Yeah, so you know it's I mean? good. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Hey, Alderman Ward said yeah. word banging. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, ward banging. I like that. Yeah, ward hey, banging. I, ward. I like that. Yeah, ward you know, banging. I like that. It's like, so, you know, you just have to learn to pivot. It's okay. Okay. Um, you know, we understand that's, that's, that's just the world we live in. You know, there's, there's egos, there's, there's, it's just business. That's just the way it is. Um, so, we learn to pivot. And we're okay with that. We're okay with that. I, I think our position is that what we're trying to deliver, the service we're bringing, mm -hmm. works in whatever ward you're in, mm -hmm. and does, regardless of your political affiliation, mm -hmm. you, you can't say that you don't want to house homeless veterans. Right. You can't say, you're, you shouldn't be saying that you don't want to train youth in a skilled trade industry. Yeah. You, you shouldn't be saying that, and you're not gonna say that because it's not good for. <laughs> yeah. It's your not image. good for your image right. as a politician. So, so with great PR for any politician that wants to come and help our project. So yeah, when you, every time you you mention veterans, you know it always it rings a bell with me because I'm sure we all have a family member that's like a veteran. Um, that has been through the military. If you, you know, if some of y'all not veterans yourselves, but 
Um, when you say veteran, it reminds me too of a program that I used to do with the YMCA where we would hook youth up with veterans on the weekends and they would mentor them. You know what I'm saying? Um, which is just, uh, you know, I was just letting you know, every time you mention that, it always reminds me of a program that I ran. But um, it's just, I just want to say that it's sad that um, we even have homeless veterans. You know what I'm saying? Because you put your life pretty much on the line for your country, and it should be no reason why you should be homeless out there. Okay, we got a caller. Uh, we do got a caller. Uh, go ahead. Go caller, ahead, go ahead. Hey, how y'all doing this evening? Can y'all hear me? Oh, yes, yeah. yes, we hear you. Yeah, I was just calling in to see what was going on on the show today. My bad, I didn't get <laughs> I, can't, I can't get it on my YouTube. Oh, it's uh, all right. Uh, we talking about uh, peace for peace. Uh, we got this cool <laughs> non-for-profit. They got programs for veterans, for homeless. They getting them jobs and yeah. training them for jobs and looking for housing. They successfully helped out about 50, uh, I want to say, black homeless people. And uh, that's the topic, you know, we've been kind of circulating a little bit of everything involved. I brought up the crystals and the One Million Project. Maybe you want to touch on that, my brother. Yeah, something you want to you want, you spread some love? Uh, yeah, I want to show some love. Y'all doing a bang-up job. I'm going to make sure I tune in next season whenever they let us back on the air. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And, um, I'm sorry, y'all can't hear me. I'm already distant. I know. You know, I wish I was there. I'm there with y'all in spirit. But, uh, yeah, the One Million Crystals movement or the movement of a million crystals, we just trying to share crystals with the people. As a matter of fact, uh, if anybody makes it to the African Caribbean Festival this weekend, I got free uh, crystals. So right. through, okay. So where uh, tell the people where uh, where is that located Park. at? Is that in Washington Park, right? That is, that is uh, yeah, that's at 55th and Washington Park. It's actually gonna be over there by the Gustavo Museum. Yes. You know, and um, they can check, come check that out. We got free crystals. Um, giving crystals away is my way of sharing positive energy. You know, um, through the crystals and whatnot, quantum entanglement and all of that type of stuff. And uh, I ain't going to, you know, keep y'all, but uh, y'all keep doing a fine job and uh, see y'all next week. Oh, thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Support, yes, sir. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank so, you. All right. All right. So basically, uh, he just invited us to the African Festival. Yeah. He giving out crystals at the African Festival. Yes, yes. And things, and he just saluted us for doing a great show and all. Yeah, and that's going to be for the people out there. Again, you can always call uh, at 312-738-1060. Um, uh, again, right just now, to, while we live, to get on the show. Yeah, yeah, to get on the show right now. So I, I just want to, our caller brother Medina was just, I just want to remind y'all this weekend, you know, it's going to be African Festival over there near the Duzabo, yes, near the Duzabo Museum over on 55th and Cottage and stuff. So brother Medina is going to be out there. He's, he's doing a million crystal uh, movement and he's trying to pass out a million crystals I, I can't remember what the deadline might be but um, he's just trying to get crystals into the hands of the community because crystals lead to healing and to peace of mind and and because that's what we need Absolutely. these days we Bring need that up. like some sound healing. therapy is quite awesome mm -hmm. so for my musicians out there whether you play the flute the keyboard the guitar mm -hmm. on july 8th we having a jam session yes. at the community center called the 1213 center that's at 1213 west 63rd street it's in inglewood another inglewood organization that i work with mm -hmm. but we having a jam session we started at five what day is this gonna be again july 8th July. I thought, did you just have one there a couple of It's ago? possible, man. I'm always busy and involved with Yeah, because it was one you, I think you had, but and I couldn't make it. Sound has power. Words have yeah. power. Yeah. Music has power. Mm -hmm. Training yeah. the homeless has power. Finding housing mm -hmm. has power. Yeah. This yeah. is the Show Some Love Show. Yeah. Yeah. Easy, yeah. 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 Peace, yeah. Move, Steven, and, oh, her name started to be. I'm going yes, to do Brooks. Ooh. Oh, we are no here. S, no S. I'm sorry, yeah. bro. Tell me something else you wanted to share with the people about this organization, about something y'all moving forward with, or something. And then also have let them know an email address yeah. on how they can contact you mm. because this will be futurely aired yeah, as yeah. well. Okay. 
Well, I'm up, you know, is there um, anything y'all was working on? Like any events uh, that y'all got your hands uh, Where's the, tied into? I wouldn't say events, not yet. Right. So at, at this point, mm -hmm. we're at the getting it together phase. A okay. community center, we're building it out. So we got right. electricians, carpenters in there. They're building. And so, so all of the, the the veterans and the other people that you're training, will they be coming to this community center? To this is where you'll be yes. uh, giving all the training Absolutely. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. For for the veterans per se, their housing, we're including a basement that will be available for training mm -hmm. for certain events and okay. you know uh, necessity type clinical um, clinical so, classrooms. But like as far as future plans, mm -hmm. it's just so many. We, we have. He's drawn out plans for like yeah, for a lot for of a stuff. whole neighborhood yeah. in Inwood. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're starting the grocery Inwood. store. Start uh, everything in Inwood, well, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, you know, now that you said grocery store, uh -huh. did I see on the news or on do something that are they they're closing the Whole Foods over there? Oh, yeah, it's a wrap. They ain't making no money. They getting out they of are. the hood. Okay. That tiff money ran out. They ran out so, and they ain't making no money. I'm, nothing, so. I'm, so, the price I'm, is so I'm high. Three blocks, I'm three blocks yeah. away from that. That's my neighborhood store. So oh, I yeah. am grieving. <laughs> I will be grieving. I, but, I, I bet Starbucks not going nowhere, though. For the link not Starbucks working online. You can tell you I'm going online. I apologize. Look, by yeah. next season, the online link going to work. I promise. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We, I mean, we we all getting it together, you know. Um, you know, that that reminds me just um, when you when you say um, Inglewood, you know, what? I mean, I'm playing a little bit of devil's advocate. Um, what if I'm Whole Foods and I ain't making no money in the hood? What what reason do I have to stay over there? Just, I mean. Why do you think? I'm just trying to get personal opinions, kind of like why do you they think like they discount their food? It's a food. They business. did though. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, oh they did. Oh you know what? She right. They it did. is discounted really more than that. But is there is there excuse that they're not making no money? Like what is what are their reasons? So here, for here, here's my take on it: is I'm not mad at Whole Foods. They mm -hmm. made a business decision. They mm -hmm. they were strong arm. I'm I'm not gonna say strong arm mm -hmm. from when when. Rom was in the mm -hmm. position of mayor. They were given some TIF money. Mm -hmm. That TIF money is run out. And the TIF money is then to run, operate the business there. Exactly. Uh, whether they're losing money or not, they're just going to be there. That's just it. If, if they're using their TIF money along with, and there's a theft operation, mm -hmm. they were, you know, they were losing money. Mm. So it's, it, it doesn't make good business sense for them to just stay, stay there. Mm -hmm. and continue to lose money. So, I mean, I'm not mad at Whole Foods, but it creates an opportunity for us because... Oh, I'm so slow. Tip. Tax increment financing, y'all. <laughs> I'm looking a regular up. old Joe. I'm a bit tip money. What is that? I ain't got no tip money. Okay. So, uh, you know, tax it, increment financing. That 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 money ran out, ran out. Um, and and there's a level. I forget what the the percentage is, but there's a level that businesses have of uh, that they will allow for theft. Mm -hmm. And and. In their area, mm -hmm. in, the, in their in their area, and they reach that. They they mm -hmm. reach that limit. Yeah. So you know. So I'm, are people I'm going in that. there stealing? Are we talking yeah. about employees you know, stealing however, everything? I don't, I don't however, it happens. I mean, if it wasn't selling, had to go home somewhere. It, it, it wasn't this selling. Steak, this steak good for seven days. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody gonna eat that steak <laughs> in six days. Okay. You know, <laughs> and um, so you can't be mad at them for that. But yeah. that that scenario creates an opportunity for us. To come in, the, the little guys and gals. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a network of of uh, working relationship with black farmers that are in Illinois. Right. So that will be resource. providing housing or harvest mm -hmm. for our grocery stores that yeah. we're going to bring into the neighborhoods. So, uh, also like too, that. how does um how does one? I mean. Is every time we talk about money, I'm always thinking of like some government money. You know, we just had this pandemic and there was just money flying everywhere. 
So is there actually money for a not-for-profit to come in and do some of the things? Like, I'm sure y'all writing on grants and have things going on, but is there money out there for things like this? There is money out there. There is, there's a lot of money out there for veterans. There's a lot of money out there for youth mm, and for yeah. housing and training. There's but money out there for training. We haven't tapped into that yet. Mm -hmm. We have done everything just stuff right. through our network and resources. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We wanted to kind of just build a foundation first before we went out for grants. We yeah. want to show that we're serious, that we already have, you know, we already have our building. We already yeah. have, uh, he, he has also a construction company yeah, that, yeah. that he brings. I'm, I'm, I'm familiar. Yeah. On his own, you know, so we are just bootstrapping and doing, put, putting out our own resources before we can ask for anything. Yeah, so, well, that's good. I, I mean, appreciate that. Yeah. That reminds me, y'all, because we sitting right here in a hub. I want to shout out and thank Can TV for giving us the opportunity to share these yeah, topics yeah. with you on the show, some love show. Look, yeah. We've we been running this for how many years? How, how many years we've been doing Oh, man. Amen. And then they know how old we are. <laughs> a lot of years. Yeah, okay, exactly. <laughs> a lot. Um, But, you know, Next season, um, I, I don't know if we have the exact date, but it's usually what around a three month wait or something. It's definitely three months on, three months off. Yeah, three we'll be months back on, in three months. months. Any day of the yeah. week, I would prefer Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Look, y'all, we talked about some dope topics this season: sound yeah. therapy, yeah. word therapy, the Chicago crystals, music. of course. All right, yeah, crystals, of course. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Um, it yeah, sounds like Brooke, though. Crystal. Brooke, you're, you're, it sounds like you said you like crystals and I stuff, right? Know. So I want to mention that, you know, we, the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, we do uh, trips down to Arkansas. We're we playing um, another trip in the fall. Yeah, well, so every few months that we run a trip, we got the bus, oh. we go to Hot Springs, oh and then you go, you go to the Crystal Mines. Years. <laughs> yeah, we go to the Crystal Mines and get, uh, like, quartz and um, what else? We, we've been like down to the Diamond right Mine down there. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So yeah, we might have to get y'all in on a uh, on a trip down there. That's right, because digging in dirt is fun. <laughs> it is. is right. Even if well, fun, where's our videos? There, Don't we got there, some videos? So there Let's, we go. Now he's looking up there. Yeah, pull one of them. It's <laughs> almost it's that's almost time to go. Let's see. They up there. Let's pick one. Oh, uh, that's our website. That's the Facebook. Oh, oh, what I got. Oh, I was talking about South. I didn't even pull up. You're right. I didn't pull up a video. Oh, we ain't got no videos. Oh, uh, no. Nah, I just pulled up a little okay. this, a little that. You but I'm what? sure if we go to Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah. Instagram. Oh. But yeah, we got some video videos. Sure. We was just totally unprepared today. But <laughs> no, I don't you know, know what he's talking about. <laughs> he's speaking for himself. <laughs> <laughs> Early bird nah. catches something around here. Look, well, yeah. Chicago is a beautiful summer. We are free this Friday. There's a hip hop show at this bar called The Letting Bar, 5062 North Lincoln. Shout out to Sam I am MC. Freestyle Friday champion here Sam in Chicago. I, I went to high school with him. Oh my goodness. So we went to school together. <laughs> you went to Kenwood? Yeah. Oh, he was, his first me was my senior year. So that's oh, what you went in the game. Alright, there we go. Right? Uh, We're all disconnected. But right. Queen Z, um, Queen Z, tell every tell our people how can they find you? Because you're a very talented. I'm young very lady. talented. Anyone so where do they find you? Give them your tomorrow. information. I am uh, Queen Zenobia you. Chicago, Instagram and Facebook. Y'all can holler at me. Y'all send me an email, Zenobia Happy FK Spencer at gmail.com. Yeah. It's going down the next 40 plus days. Let's celebrate. So every day, every day somebody's birthday, but tomorrow. Is mine. You going All to right. Cali? Ah, uh, yeah, for High Road Hi. Day. I got my High Road shirt every day. Uh, it's High Road Day. That's some, yeah. you know, okay. way back. You know, hieroglyphics, what? historical hip hop group. All right, yeah. we got clothes show out. No, Eric. well, you know, I was gonna say, um, everybody, this is our last uh, one for the season. So all those posts that I put on Facebook, you know, to tell y'all to watch every week, you know, they gonna slowly disappear. But uh, at least for the next three months. Don't worry, um, we gonna be sharing the videos. I also want to bring Steven and his organization back. Peace for um, peace. <laughs> Piece of peace. Uh, I got it, man. Piece of Roger. the peace. I got it right now. And uh, we're going to definitely um, have them back next season because I'm sure they're going to be have more construction going on. They're going to have more operations going on. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in all season, however many episodes that was. I want to give a shout-out to Brother Medina, um, even though he's only with us um, 
in spirit right now. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I want to thank our guests today. I want to thank Queen Z. We had a pretty good season. Um, you can always go back on YouTube um, and watch every episode. I'm a, I maybe I'll start posting those on my Facebook. He will. Um, he will. No baby. Ones. No baby. But thank y'all. <laughs> Peace.